today we are going to discuss about classification of engineering materials welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management like share and subscribe first we will discuss about the classification of engineering material with the help of the table so basically engineering material is classified in two broad categories first metals and second non metals in metals such as iron steel aluminium copper gold silver nickel etc so these all are called as the metals non metals such as ceramics glass plastic rubber timber diamond etc metals further classified in two different categories ferrous metals and non ferrous metals ferrous metals iron as the main constituent whereas in case of non ferrous metal it is exactly opposite to that one that means iron is not as main constituent ferrous metals further classified in three different categories cast iron wrought iron and steel further cast iron is classified in different categories like as grey cast iron white cast iron malleable cast iron and nodular or sometimes it is called as the ductile cast iron wrought iron is not classified in the further categories steel is further classified in four different categories low carbon steel medium carbon steel high carbon steel and alloy steel in case of non ferrous metals we can say aluminum copper zinc lead tin gold etc so this is the broad classification of the different engineering materials so let's start in details about the different engineering material so let's start with the metals and then we'll discuss about the non metals metals they are mostly opaque hard heavy ductile and luster they are good conductor of heat and electricity alloys are obtained by mixing or melting two or more metals in order to improve properties of materials so this is the brief description of the metals now so already we have discussed about this table and in this slide we have discussed about the metals now it's turn for the non metals they do not contain metal in their composition they are less ductile they are poor conductor of heat and electricity so here look at the properties of the metals they are good conductor of heat and electricity whereas non metals are poor conductor of heat and electricity now once again we have completed so far about the metals and non metals now it's turn for the ferrous and non ferrous so let's start from the ferrous metal so all metallic materials having iron as their main constituent are known as ferrous materials other materials like carbon manganese phosphorus sulfur etc exist in various proportion in very small quantity in the ferrous metal now it's turn for the non ferrous material those metallic materials which do not contain iron as their main constituents are known as non ferrous metals so here look at once again for the ferrous iron as their main constituent whereas for the non ferrous iron is not as the main constituents so this is the brief description of the ferrous and non ferrous and in the next video we'll discuss about the 
types of the cast iron and types of the steels. Thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.